So in this video, I'm going to be doing a BBZ poker review. Um, if you play a lot of online poker, you've probably heard of BBZ right now. Um, they've grown quite a lot recently, and they've got some quite high-profile streamers and stuff, such as Lex now. Um, but yeah, anyway, I'm going to get straight to the point and get into the review. So it's literally just going to be a straight to the point basic review. I'm going to go over the positives, negatives, and then just give an overall rating at the end. So first positive, the Ape Styles bundle. Uh, I think it's pretty good, to be honest with you. Um, I put here systematic. By this, I mean it goes over like your flop play, your turn play, your river play. It just goes over everything very in order. Um, and you definitely will learn something. It's pretty informative. I would say if you were going to buy any content, this should be the content you should buy. I haven't purchased everything from BBC Poker, so I can't really say exactly. Um, but I have bought other stuff, and it definitely was not that useful. Um, whereas the Ape Styles bundle, you definitely will learn something, and I'd say it's pretty good value. Secondly, price. Um, you get a lot of poker courses which are pretty expensive, like Raise Your Edge, for example, is like over a grand, I think. Whereas you get the bundles on BBZ for around $100. And you can also, I quite like the fact you can buy cheaper just one-off videos for like $10 um, if you just want some smaller content. So it is decent value for money. The prices are very affordable, I'd say, in comparison. I mean, obviously, poker courses in general are quite expensive, but in comparison to other, other websites, I'd say it's pretty decent value. Third, the pre-flop charts. I'd say these are really useful. Um, you get these on a subscription, monthly subscription. I think it's around twelve ninety nine or something around that mark. Um, but it goes. It gives you the chip EV charts, uh, your ICM, like your final table charts, PKO. Um, there's a couple others, uh, cash game, I think. Um, and these are really useful to be honest with you getting your fundamentals right is an extremely important part and this should be sort of your your starting block i think probably studying these charts is probably sort of one of the things um that has definitely helped me improve my game the most you can obviously find these charts in up from other sites and stuff um so i can't say they're like exclusive to bbz um, but th they do have them, so that is definitely a positive. Oh yeah, well I've sort of already gone over this. Like you've got the choice of the bundles, um, which are more expensive. Um, but if you can't obviously afford that, like some people don't want to, some people don't want to spend a hundred dollars or hundred fifty dollars on a poker bundle, but may want to just buy a one-off video, which I think is quite good. Like some other sort of like Razor Edge, for example, or other subscriptions like the. I forgot what the Fade or Holtz uh, one is called, but they're sort of subscriptions which cost like 50 odd dollars a month. Um, so like it's quite a nice alternative if you don't want to spend that much. And finally, you will learn some useful concepts. I mean, I'm going to go over the negatives in a minute. I can't say it's going to completely change your game because I don't believe it will. Um, but I, I think there is some useful content in the BBC poker stuff. And now on to the negatives. So it is very heavily GTO solver based content. For example, the Lex bundle, it's literally just going over Lex's 5k high roller win um, with Jordan, uh, B, who's BBC himself. Um, and it's literally all it is, is just plugging all the hands that he's put into solvers. And I just don't think that content is very engaging. Um, like it just gets very repetitive and boring after a while. And it, it lacks exploitative approaches. Um, like it, it just doesn't have enough information to be a great bundle, I don't think. And yes, you are gonna learn some fundamental GTO concepts, which are obviously gonna improve your game. So you will learn something again, which is, what I put in the positives, but I just think it lacks a lot of useful content. And it may be more useful for high stakes players, but for lower and mid stakes players, I just don't think it's gonna be that useful. Like everyone at lower and micro stakes, they just don't play as you'd expect or whatever. I just don't think a lot of the strategies are gonna work well here against uh, lower stakes players. Like I think in like the micro and lower stakes, it's just about getting your fundamentals right. And then I think just exploitative approaches are best. Like you see people that open up literally every hand and you've just gotta exploit those sort of situations. And yeah, I, I just don't think people that are playing lower 
and micro stake are gonna wanna watch a bundle which is just going over hands and just putting them in complex solvers. Oh uh, yeah, the, the Lex bundle, again, I, I've, just, I've literally just mentioned about that. Um, like you, It is some useful content, but again, you can just find the same stuff on YouTube for free, to be honest with you. You've got plenty of hand reviews out there. Like I just wouldn't bother with this. Um, next, we got video quality. Um, some of the video quality, to be honest with you, is a disgrace. Like, the lack of editing is just really poor. Like, I think there was this one $10 video I bought. I can't remember what it was called now. But all you heard throughout was just Jordan's computer, like, beeping and just making noises throughout the video. And, like, I was just thinking, like, I would literally not even upload content like that on my YouTube channel. Um, and you're having to pay for this content. So, yeah, I think certainly for some of the content it's pretty poor the lack of effort that goes into these videos like there's no editing or whatever cutting it down making the content engaging um and it just means you probably just get bored watching some of this content because it's 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 just not engaging enough um and then i put <laughs> this is just one for me personally it's obviously not going to be whatever but yeah i um messaged on instagram about this one video because it, it was just pretty terrible you couldn't hear anything it was just like you paid ten dollars for this and then it was just all you could hear was noise and beeping and whatever and i messaged on instagram they didn't reply so i messaged again and then they came back saying oh yeah we'll get in touch with you shortly and then just never did and i'm not, like it's only it's not like i've paid 800 quid for this so i didn't bother taking it up any further but yeah obviously it's not really a uh a negative for everyone but i just put that on there just because i um yeah i just thought i'd say about that so my overall rating i would give it a six out of ten and i would say that is being generous uh i was debating between a five or a six but i don't want to be swayed by the fact that i obviously had bad response from them when i messaged on instagram and i like i i have certainly learned something from their content so like I wouldn't say like oh definitely don't buy it or whatever for the price I think some of the content is definitely worth it like the ape styles bundle but a lot of the content it's just hand reviews and just putting like just putting stuff into solvers uh, and you just find all these type hand reviews on YouTube anyway so that's why I definitely wouldn't recommend some of the content but. Yeah, I've just about given them a 6 out of 10. Anyway, just thought I'd give a uh, quick review. So yeah, thanks for watching and uh, please subscribe.